This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS principles. I'm on unit three intro to programming lesson nine looping and random numbers part 16. AP practice identify the abstraction. One component of AP cre create performance task is selecting an abstraction that you develop, right? An abstraction of code, right? Uh, abstraction is important to computer programming, obviously, and it's essential that you understand this. As I go through this, don't copy my answer. Don't do it. It's plagiarism. It is unacceptable. I want to talk about this. I want us to think this out. I want you to, uh, if you like my answer, you can certainly uh, make it better, make it your own, totally change it. If you hate my answer, just ignore it, but do not plagiarize my answer whatsoever. However, Let's go through this and kind of see what's going on here and think about it together, I guess. Here's the scoring guide for this question. Row 7, Applying Abstraction. Code segment in response to D. Selected code segment is a student developed, student developed is key here, abstraction. Responses that use existing abstractions to create new abstractions, such as creating a list to represent a collection, classroom inventory, would earn this point. Do not award a point if any of the following is true. The response is an existing abstraction, such as variables, existing control structures, event handlers, API. The code segment consists of an abstraction, is not included in the written response section, or is not explicitly identified in the program code section. The abstraction is not explicitly defined. The entire program is selected as an abstraction without, yeah, don't do that, guys. Don't circle the whole thing. Without explicitly identifying the code segment containing abstraction. All right. So, A, move to, this is not an abstraction. Why? And here's, here's the argument for it. Move to is a function, right? It's not a function we created, but it's definitely a function. Somewhere, somehow, the computer is using this move to thing and using these two as the arguments for the parameter and moving to something, right? So this is some type of function somewhere. However, the response is an existing, oh wait, select a code segment that is a student developed. We didn't create this. That's not what we're looking for. B, this is a function call. So we're calling draw square. Draw square might be an abstraction because a function is a great example of an abstraction, right? Because it takes a chunk of code, it puts it within a block, it decomplicates coding, if you will. It it, it limits the complexity and increases the clarity and, and, and the efficiency of code. However, asking a function to run isn't an abstraction, right? We need the function itself. Oh, this is a for loop. N n no, right? So for C, this is a for loops like a control structure. It's looping through something. It's telling the computer to do something several times. We did not invent the for loop right? A student developed abstraction. Function to draw a square. Oh, look, this looks like a function definition. So is this taking a complex chunk of code, putting it in a, um, into a box, into a function of its own, which clarifies the program and limits the complexity of it, right? If you just read this code on its own without a function, would it make any sense right off the bat? It's kind of hard to picture what it does, but having it do be draw square and calling that up towards the top makes it pretty clear what we're creating and allows us to use this multiple times, limiting, again, complexity. Did we create this? Yes, we made this function. It's all defined right here. All right, so I think it is D. Then explain your answer using criteria in the scoring guide. I chose... D because it is a student created function. A Alright, my answer. Plagiarism is wrong. Do not plagiarize my answer. Come up with your own. Go back through and listen to me talk about this. You should not plagiarize. You probably can come up with a better answer. 
I chose D because it is a student created abstraction. A function is considered to be an abstraction. The function makes the program er, easier to read and understand. It takes a complicated task, groups it together, and allows for the code to be used multiple times. This both limits the complexity of a program and increases the program's efficiency. So that's my answer. Again, you need to come up with your own. Um, but yeah, uh, functions are critical to programming, abstractions critical to programming, and understanding them is an essential part of building good code, and it's going to empower us to make some awesome things. <laughs> All right, let's uh, keep going. Boom.